Space, the final frontier. A realm where humanity's curiosity and ambition collide with the unforgiving laws of physics and the vast emptiness of the cosmos. In this vast expanse, heroes emerge, pushing the boundaries of what is possible and bringing us closer to the stars. Among these heroes is astronaut Sunita Williams, whose journey aboard the International Space Station has recently taken an unexpected and challenging turn. Sunita Williams, a veteran NASA astronaut, has spent over 321 days in space across multiple missions. Her resilience and dedication to space exploration have made her a prominent figure in the field. But her current mission, part of the Boeing crew flight test, has presented challenges that even she could not have anticipated. On June 6, 2024, Williams, along with her colleague Butch Wilmore, embarked on a mission to the International Space Station aboard the Boeing Starliner. This mission, a critical test for Boeing's spacecraft, was initially planned to last only nine days. The Starliner, developed under NASA's commercial crew program, is a key component in the effort to increase access to low Earth orbit and the ISS. This mission was designed to test every aspect of the Starliner, from launch to docking, and ultimately the safe return of the crew. It's an end-to-end -end test of the spacecraft's capabilities. However, soon after their arrival at the ISS, issues began to surface. The reaction control system RCS thrusters, crucial for the spacecraft's maneuvering and safe return to Earth, showed signs of malfunction. Extensive ground testing and inspections were needed to diagnose and fix the problems. NASA and Boeing engineers at the White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico worked tirelessly to simulate various flight conditions and identify the root cause of the issues. This included hot fire testing of the thrusters to ensure they would perform reliably during the critical undocking and re-entry phases. With the thruster issues unresolved, Williams and Wilmore's stay on the ISAs extended far beyond the planned duration. Their mission, initially set for nine days, stretched into weeks, then months. This prolonged stay raised concerns about their health as extended exposure to microgravity can lead to bone density loss, muscle atrophy, and other health issues. Long-duration missions pose significant challenges to astronauts' health. The absence of gravity affects the body in many ways, from muscle and bone deterioration to changes in vision and cardiovascular function. Despite these challenges, Williams and Wilmore remained in good spirits, continuing their scientific research and maintenance tasks aboard the ISS. Their experience with previous long-duration missions helped them adapt to the unexpected extension. Back on Earth, NASA and Boeing engineers continued to work on the Starliner's thrusters. They conducted additional tests, including a second on-orbit hot-fire test and helium leak checks to ensure the spacecraft's readiness for the journey home. The Flight Readiness Review, scheduled for the following week, would be the final checkpoint before planning the return. Landing opportunities were being considered for August, contingent on the results of these critical tests. Spaceflight has always carried inherent risks. Since the dawn of human space exploration, there have been tragic incidents, such as the Challenger and Columbia disasters, which remind us of the stakes involved. If you haven't seen it yet, I have an in-depth video explaining the Challenger disaster. Check out the I button in the corner or find the link in the description. The possibility of a thruster failure during undocking presented a serious risk. If the Starliner's thrusters failed, the spacecraft might not enter the correct trajectory for re-entry, potentially leaving it adrift in space. This underscores the importance of the rigorous testing and precautions taken by NASA and Boeing to ensure the safe return of their crew. In the worst-case scenario, a complete thruster failure could mean the spacecraft becomes lost in space. NASA has protocols for handling such situations, but the options are limited and recovery would be extremely challenging. NASA has protocols for handling deaths in space, including the return of bodies to Earth. However, the psychological impact on the crew and their families, as well as the logistical challenges of such scenarios, are profound. For Williams, the mission is more than just a professional challenge, it's a personal journey. Her dedication to space exploration is driven by a deep sense of duty and curiosity. Her resilience and calm demeanor during this extended mission have been a source of inspiration. Despite the uncertainties, Williams remains focused on her work and committed to the mission. As the countdown to the flight readiness review continues, the focus is on ensuring every detail is perfect. The safety of the crew and the success of the mission depend on the thoroughness of these preparations. 
the coming days will be crucial. Engineers will analyze the test data, perform final checks, and make the necessary preparations for undocking. The world watches as Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore prepare for their return to Earth. In the vast expanse of space, where the unknown looms large, it's the courage and resilience of astronauts like Sunita Williams that light the way. As they prepare for their journey back to Earth, their story reminds us of the incredible feats of human ingenuity and the indomitable spirit of exploration. Stay tuned as we follow this remarkable journey. Will the Starliner's thrusters hold up? Will Williams and Wilmore safely return to Earth? The final chapter of this mission is yet to be written, but one thing is certain their bravery and dedication have already made history.